Well, good morning, folks. <laughs> well, Gertie and I had a, just an incredible journey out to Spirit Forest at uh, the Obabaka Provincial Park. And uh, when we got back from our, our journey out to see the sisters, um, I found this uh, article in the North Bay Nugget from uh, October 26, 2017. And uh, in this article, they talk about uh, great spiritual places. Uh, okay, here it is. It's called uh, Special Spiritual Places, and it's uh, written by Bill Steer. And that's uh, Backroads Bill. He's, uh, he's written a really great article here on, on these uh, spiritual places in and around our area. And uh, he's, got a, he's done a write-up on Spirit Rock. And uh, so I'll just read that to you. Often the fall season is a time of fasting ceremonies for cleansing and healing ceremonies. Spirit Rock is a sacred place used for dreaming and vision quests. Tomogamy is home to some of the most stunning old growth, red and white pine. On Shishkong Lake, just at the east end of Lake Obabaka, is an obelisk-shaped tower formation. It is believed there were once three towers or chimneys. It has been referred to as the last Ojibwe sacred spiritual site remaining in an old growth forest. He said, at one time referred to as Conjuring Rock, but now referred to as Spirit Rock. Dr. Pitt said in Half Wilson's Trials and Tribulations, Confession of a Wilderness Pathfinder book, he references Anishinaabe linguistic expert and historic historian Greg MacDonald and who says that Shishkong is the name, um, the name is derived from the root word for shaking tent, the seven-poled open-top shelter used by medicine healers and shamans. Shishkong was and still is a place of powerful divination. Small bowl-sized depressions surrounding the base of the 30-meter high column of rock are naturally filled with water. People seeking visions or healing, see, healing sat at these pools and stared into the future in a trance-like state. Nearby, the rock outcrop or terrace was used for vision seeking and acts of reverence, a place of offerings. Some have referred to spirit rock as hanging rock in reference to the massive slab of rock form in a hanging position, said Dr. Pitt. For some, the rock speaks to them, not in voice, but in a different way of knowing, and as such, is an indigenous way of understanding. In the past, some people have misunderstood native spiritual practices as witchcraft, in the same manner as someone unfamiliar with transubstantiation might not have an understanding of certain religious practices. So that's quite an interesting article there. It uh, talks about where it is on in the article. It says that Spirit Rock is located at uh, WGS 8417T. Uh, I'm not going to read it all. It's the, uh, the latitude and the longitude. Um, Alex, Elder Alex Matthias gives day tours of Spirit Rock, pictographs, and petroglyphs, and the old growth forest around Obabaka Lake. The Matthias cabin is located on Obabaka Lake. Contact him at 613-454-5214. This is how I came to know of, uh, of Spirit Rock and, and this great forest was through Alex. And, and um, he, uh, he, he certainly does run tours. If you give him a call, he'd gladly help you out. Uh, it's, it's such a spectacular place. And so um, we went on this journey. And uh, so <laughs> stay tuned. Well, hi everybody. I'm here on Lake Obabaka and Gertie and I are uh, planning to go and visit the sisters. This might be the last time for the year, last trip in for the season. And uh, so we're gonna take a hike in Spirit Forest and we will uh, we'll stop at the, uh, the ceremony site and I'll show you a few things. Uh, it's kind of late in the season, it's late October. It's uh, a little overcast and drizzly. Uh, well, the Weather Network said it was going to rain today, but we decided, well, it's not raining now, so 
Uh, yeah, we've been paddling for a little while. It's been quite a journey to get here, but um, we're excited. We're excited to begin. Gertie's such a good travel companion. She really is. She's so good and so obedient. Yeah, she deserves to come out on these adventures. Okay, don't you, girl? Well, I think that the conditions are perfect here. It's such a beautiful day. The slight drizzle, I don't mind it at all. I, it makes, makes me feel good, makes me feel clean, you know, and it's, uh, it's a slight breeze. It looks like the waves are starting to pick up a wee bit, but it's still really calm and uh, yeah, gorgeous fall day. I see the mist rising from various pockets and valleys and, and creeks and, and ponds. And, um, I still see a few loons here too. I, I figured they might have gone already, but uh, uh, no, there's still a few here. Well, we made it, folks. It's quite a journey, but worth every, every minute of it. I'm so glad to be here. Before I go any further, I wanted to uh, recognize and acknowledge that we are on, uh, on Temagami Anishinaabe land, deep water by the shore, and uh, I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this opportunity, and I'm uh, you know, I'm grateful that this land has been preserved and kept. I'm grateful for the ancestors. I'm, I'm just, I'm grateful. Anyway, before we begin the hike, I gotta get some things together. I don't wanna take a lot of stuff with me. I'm gonna go pretty simple, so uh, just gonna get my stuff sorted out and we'll head on in. All right, so we're just heading to the trailhead. Decided to travel light. 
Keep it light. Keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, back in 2008, that was the first time I had ever been here. And uh, my wife and I came. We were invited by uh, Alex Matthias to come. Um, I had a yearning to see the old growth and uh, he helped to facilitate that so I'm very very I'm very grateful to Alex for uh, for all he's done and, and what he's shown me here and, and um, how he's taught me taught me some of the ways and uh, so I just I, I truly I'm grateful for this for this opportunity and, um, so back in 2008 my wife and I attended the changing of the season ceremony and um, at that time there was a teaching elder and uh, we were able to spend some time with the teaching elder and he, uh, he showed us the emblems and, and what it all meant and uh, he gave, gave us a good understanding of, of the sacredness of this land and uh, why it's important to us and how it can be more important to us. And um, one of the things that he taught me was that uh, the great spirit, the spirit could be felt in, in all living things and all inanimate things and that um, that it's very important to recognize this and, and, and to honor this in, in what we do. And um, so he explained the use of, of tobacco, uh, Sema, and um, he made a request of me that I've, I've honored to this day. Um, he asked me to find find a good place to uh, to give, to, to lay tobacco. Um, and I've done that, I have a special place. Uh, but in addition to that, what he said was to, um, to lay to lay tobacco when you know when your heart tells you so and so today today I'm going to lay the tobacco here at the trailhead and uh, I'm most grateful uh, for this opportunity Gertrude where are you hey you want to go for a hike want to go for a hike my girl hey you and me will go for a hike and go see the sisters yeah come on let's go Wow, it's a beautiful fall day. We really struck it lucky with this weather. Yeah. They were calling 70% chance of, uh, of rain. Something else that the elder taught me was that if you, uh, if you hugged a tree, that you could feel, you could feel the spirit energy and so uh, part of what I do here is I hug trees just like my banner says <laughs> I'm here to hug the trees yeah anyway here's a white pine This is the most beautiful time of year for hiking. Yeah. It's just cool enough to keep you cool, you know, keep you from overheating. Nice little drizzle. There's something soothing and cleansing about that. Oh, yeah. Here's another tree that needs hugging. Okay, how's that? Okay, so the uh, little fork on the road here, that's a great trail. I'll take that some other time. It's fairly long, but it takes you up to the top of the, uh, the cliffs. There's a spectacular view. It's pretty strenuous. It's not, uh, it's not an easy one, but uh, yeah, it's, 
It's a good one. Oh, there's a nice pine there. Well, let's just take a walk over. So on this trail system, there's maps. And uh, so we're, we are right here. And the trail splits and we're gonna head up this way towards Shishkong, but this is a great loop. That's, that's a really nice journey. We'll, uh, we'll take that some time. And uh, this is a beautiful red pine. So while we're here, I'm gonna take a moment and hug it too. Okay. So this is a beautiful red pine. <laughs> Enough of that, let's get going. You go, girl. You go, you're a running girl. Run, run, run. That's a good girl. <laughs> oh, she loves to run. Okay. Boom. <laughs> yes, such a good girl. Oh, she sure loves to go for heights like this. Yeah, so we're walking on the trail that heads out to uh, Shishkong, Abakong, and uh, just before you get to the lake, there's another trail that goes up uh, to the sisters. And uh, so we've just reached that point here. Uh, it's marked. You want to watch for it, but uh, there it is. And uh, we're going to head up there. Gertie, come on. Okay, well, we're getting closer. Oh. oh, there's the beauty. Okay, just a second, I can't resist it. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, here we are. We've made it. Oh man, it's so powerful. Well, so here's the sisters. We finally made it. And oh, they are so beautiful. This is such a great place. Wow. It's a big white, a red and a white, and another white. There's some big, beautiful white pines here. And uh, this, this here is just astounding. Yeah, so I'm just gonna, uh, Hug these too. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Hey, Gertie, what do you got there? What do you got? Yeah. Well, I collected up these gifts. I'm just going to uh, add them to this gift here and uh, just make <laughs> make an offering for the sisters. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Well, this has been an emotional journey for me. This place means so much to me. It's, it's just it's very powerful for my soul. And you know, I'll be long gone and they'll still be here. 
My ki children will be long gone and they'll still be here. These trees have been... These trees have been here for, I don't know, 300 years. They've seen a lot of generations. So back in 1989, there was a Red Squirrel blockade and the protests, a lot of things uh, were happening, people protesting and, and trying to stop the logging. Um, they were, I guess they, they felt enough was enough and, and the next step was to lose um, these trees and uh, people couldn't hear of it. Um, so we all a debt of gratitude to a lot of brave people who, uh, who just decided that's it. They came here in droves to, uh, to try and stop it. And, and so the arrest started. Uh, over 300 people were arrested. Every person that were, uh, was arrested, another two people came. And uh, clearly it, it was becoming quite evident that, that they would just have to keep arresting people. And uh, so they, they finally decided, well, okay, uh, we need to find a solution, and, and what they've done is to, uh, to turn it all into a provincial park and to protect it. And uh, so these, these trees here, they became the, a, a poster. They were a, kind of a poster child for uh, the Tomogamy Wilderness Society, and they became quite famous. Um, you see them on websites, and they were in publications, and, and really what they represented was the struggle to, to save them, to save the forest. This is a very significant forest. This is very important for me, for my grandchildren. Well, I don't have any yet. <laughs> but for your grandchildren, you know, and your grandchildren's grandchildren, and on down the line. Well, I thank Spirit that that we still have this and that it wasn't traded in for for a car or a truck or something. Uh, yeah. I've had the good fortune to uh, to guide people here. It's really astounding to watch, to see the people's reactions when they come here. Um, you know, they, as they come closer, they start to feel, you know, more of a sense of awe. And, and um, as you come, like really close, then then you just know, you know, it's a, like a, a precious and important spot. People hug these trees. I bet you these trees have been hugged thousands of times, and they'll keep coming. People will keep coming. This is a place of um, the vision quest. It's like a philosopher's <laughs> yeah it's like a philosopher's stone <laughs> I don't even know what that is but it sounds interesting but to me the, the power of spirit is is, uh, is quite evident here it's very powerful it's, it's overwhelming for me um, sometimes I can't contain myself you know I try really hard in front of people to, uh, to try and, and show that you know I'm, I'm a man and I don't cry Easy, but uh, I do. It's just too powerful here. So I give thanks to, uh, to our Mother Earth here. I give thanks to the Holy Father, the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit, and Jesus, Yeshua. It's at this place that they all meet as one for me. And I see the Great Spirit now everywhere. I'm so grateful for the teachings that I had. Teaching me that uh, we are all one. Yep. We are attached and connected. All living things, all inanimate objects.
looks, everything, it's all, it's all gloriously put together here for us and we're a part of it. What hurts one hurts another. What pleases one pleases another. Just thinking of the number of things that I've I have to be grateful for. That was really good, eh? Wasn't that good? I have another one. Would you like to share another one? Our last one. We've got a big journey ahead of us, girl. Yeah. The weather's been really nice to hold off for us. But I'm just starting to feel that uh, I should think about moving on. We've got quite a journey ahead of us, and that lake can be pretty treacherous. I originally planned on coming here and taking you to uh, to the lookout for Spirit Rock, and I, I was also going to take you down and to see um, Shishkong, Shishkong Abakong, and uh, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking. Uh, just I think we'll just finish finish here. We'll leave that for another journey, another time. There'll be so many times. For us to do this. Well, I don't know. It feels like this is enough. This is an accomplishment. these little journeys, eh? She likes adventure. Yeah. Did you hear the squirrel, eh? Hey? Hey girl, isn't it beautiful here? What an incredible time of year to be in the forest. Yeah. So I think it's good if we were to go. Uh, I'll just show you one more angle here. Behold the sisters. All right, well, let's go. Gertrude, are you ready? Let's get out of here, right? Let's go. It's getting late, it's getting cold. We've got a big journey yet. This is one of the most incredible places on earth. Let's go with it. Yeah, we don't want to slip, do we? <laughs> Well, I hope you're enjoying our adventure through the old growth. Oh, 
enchanted, the enchanted forest. really is a good trail. People have worked very hard over the years to uh, make this trail and to keep it open. People use this route uh, to get up to Diamond. I don't know if, how you guys feel about hiking, but if you don't hike, boy, I would highly encourage it. I hike. It hurts like hell. <laughs> I like I'm 56, and uh, I got bone on bone arthritis in both knees. In fact, a couple years ago, I thought it was the last time I could ever come here, and uh, boy, that I kind of really hurt, and so. I, uh, I started to take action, and uh, I'm really, I'm really pleased to say that I come here as often as I want. Ah, you can hear the wind swaying through the trees there. We are, we are getting closer to Avabaka. So there you have it. You know, the weatherman said it was going to be horrendous. Everyone was afraid that the weather was going to be just crappy and rainy and, and all of that. And boy, did I ever get blessed. Yeah, up until Friday morning, I had no intentions of coming out here. Because uh, the weather was just going to be too crappy. But the lure was just too great. I decided, you know what, to act with it. I'm going. And uh, I just knew in my heart that there would be an opening for me where I could just slide out here on a magnificent journey and uh, come out relatively unscathed. <laughs> oh, but this is amazing. You got your stick? Just look at these pines. Oh, it's so great. I like the way the contrast gets the needles on the forest floor. This is all, it's like music. This is all music, music to the eyes, music to the soul. Let's just take a minute here. Yeah, hey, it's been a great day. It's been a great day. There's, uh, the ministry's put a thunder box out here, I think. So there are some facilities for anybody who wants to come out. Uh, passes can be purchased in River Valley. They sell them there. Just go into the River Valley store and tell them you want to uh, spend some time at Obavica at the provincial park and uh, they'll get you all fixed up there. All right. Well, this is where the ceremony is for the gathering. Yeah, it was a really great gathering this year. We had a lot of people. I don't know. We someone forgot to count. Actually, we all forgot to count. But it was uh, it was pretty substantial. Beautiful rocks here. Nice and flat. So we're just gonna carry on here. There's the signs up there for the for the latrine. And there's a beautiful big picnic table here. I mean, this is a magnificent campsite. Yeah, nice long table. Look at 
this. So it says Daniel Robert Trask, June 7th, 1983 to November 11th, 2011. His greatest peace was found in nature. His spirit lives on in these sacred forests of Tomogamy. Guided by the spirits and connected in love, his journey continues. Free spirit, brave soul. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. I met Daniel. We were here at a, at a gathering and he paddled in. He came down the Wikimika River and, and paddled in here and he had all his gear with him and uh, pulled up and uh, came on in. And he, uh, he joined in on the potluck and, and the ceremony and, and it was, uh, it was actually pretty neat uh, to meet him. He spent some time here uh, before basically disappearing into the Tomogamy Forest. Well, girl, should we get going, eh? I think we should paddle on out of here, eh? Yeah, come on, let's go. Yep. Yep. That's right. So, we're head ready to head out. And uh, I just wanted to pause for a moment and and acknowledge once again that uh, we're on Tamagami Anishinaabe land and uh, and uh, just to, to give my gratitude and gratefulness for the ability to come and enjoy this incredible place and uh, Gertie's ready to go and I'm ready to go winds picking up and we got a big paddle ahead so we'll catch you later <laughs> 